I would like to speak to you about a common misunderstanding that many Christians have about the serpent in the Bible. It is important to understand that the serpent is not Satan, as many believe, but rather a symbol of temptation and sin. In the book of Genesis, we read about how God created Adam and Eve and placed them in the Garden of Eden. He gave them everything they needed and provided them with one rule, not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. However, the serpent, who was cunning and deceitful, tempted Eve to eat from the tree, and she gave in to the temptation. Now, many people believe that the serpent was actually Satan in disguise. However, this is not the case. The Bible clearly tells us that the serpent was a creature that God had created. In fact, in Genesis 3, 1, we read that the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. It is clear from this passage that the serpent was simply a crafty and deceitful creature, not Satan himself. So why is this important? Well, understanding that the serpent is not Satan helps us to better understand the nature of temptation and sin. You see, the serpent represents the temptations that we all face in life. Just as Eve was tempted by the serpent to disobey God's commandment, we too are often tempted by the things of this world that go against God's will. It is important to remember that sin is not something that is forced upon us. We always have a choice, just as Eve had a choice when she was tempted by the serpent. We can choose to follow God's commandments and resist temptation, or we can choose to give in to our desires and sin. Now, some may argue that the serpent was a tool of Satan, and therefore, it is still appropriate to associate the two. However, I would argue that this misses the point. Yes, Satan may use temptation and sin to lead us astray, but ultimately it is our own choices that determine whether we sin or not. By blaming Satan for our sins, we are absolving ourselves of responsibility and failing to take ownership of our actions. Instead, we must recognize that the serpent represents the constant battle between good and evil that we all face. We must be vigilant and resist the temptations that come our way, just as Jesus did when he was tempted by Satan in the wilderness. We must pray for strength and guidance, and rely on the Holy Spirit to help us overcome temptation and sin. Let us pray for strength and guidance, and rely on the Holy Spirit to help us resist temptation and live a life that is pleasing to God. May God bless you all.